Hello, so I am just sharing some world news here that are relevant to these end times and the increasing unrest of these um, times in the world. The biggest thing that the Lord really brought to my attention is, you have it here on the screen, Trump's dictator-like decision to remove U.S. troops from Syria against much advice may cause more chaos and instability in the re region and surrounding countries, even America and the West, or worse. And that is what different people have been saying, different leaders and people who know what they're talking about. Some say it will bring war and terrorism here. Um, the defense secretary resigned um, as a result of this, it looks like from an article that I'll put the link in the description box, but from great disagreement with what Trump is doing. Um, and as I said, many other leaders also greatly concerned over Trump's decision. But in his eyes, Trump does no error, while America keeps crumbling morally and in countless other ways, while the news only feeds the masses that we are in economic prosperity. At what cost? At horrible cost. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So you can read all of Thessalonians for the rest of the verses surrounding that. But the world is in unrest, and big shifts are happening. And two more things that were brought to my attention. So the riots that have been going on in France, they're still continuing. It's pretty bad. And now they've spread to Portugal. You have here. And also in Barcelona, Spain, there's riots. And if you want to look at all those articles, go on my Google Plus page. Um, it's on the front cover of my um, YouTube channel, or you can just search them out yourself. But the world is in increasing unrest. Unrest is growing, like it says in Luke 21, 25. People might want to just shut their eyes and think things will, and think that things will continue to go on as they've always gone on. But they're getting worse and worse. So now is the time to repent and know and follow Jesus Christ because he is the only savior in these last days, the only one who can save your soul and deliver you from the wrath to come because the Lord is angry at the state of things and how it's just so much destruction and chaos and fighting and lack of love and just evil and selfishness and pride and arrogance and all the things that destroy the world. That's what God is mad at. He's not angry at the humble people that work hard, at the honest people that are doing their best and that fight for truth and that walk in honor and preach righteousness. So now is the time to know and follow Jesus Christ because these are dark, dark days upon the earth and things are getting worse and worse. And he is the only safe place. Amen.